hi guys and welcome to my youtube channel if you are new here thank you for dropping by if you are a returning viewer or subscriber thank you you are the best please like please subscribe you know just subscribe it doesn't hurt you know it doesn't hurt you it definitely doesn't hurt me so subscribe i pretty much just want to show you how i made this outfit i'm wearing in this video and yeah so just join me on a so long of this outfit you see the full thing at the end of the video. <laughs> First things first, you want to get your two front pieces, the front piece and the facing. Then you want to pin it together at the v-neck point, like the lowest point, like that. Make sure it matches up. And you can see I pinned one side and the other side. Then I'm going to sew along these lines over there, right down there. Just sew the v-neck. And then I'm going to sew the sides with one inch allowance. The v-neck I'm going to sew with a quarter of an inch allowance. That's what I'm going to use. So you just take it to your machine and sew it. Be careful at the v-neck point. You want to make sure you turn it properly and you get a very good stitch right there. So I had to lift my foot up so I could turn it properly. And then I continued sewing. Once I had got in my V stitch, you sew it all the way down. And you take your scissors and notch the V point, like the sharp V, you notch it so you can turn it inside out properly. Then you go ahead and sew the sides. I started off at the top with like a half inch allowance and as I went down, as I progressed downwards, I increased it to a one inch um, seam allowance, one inch seam allowance. And when that's all done, when you've sewn both sides, you can turn it inside out and then check to see if you did it properly. Then you press it so you have a nice, neat top piece. So you get your eye in and then you iron it. You press it down, make sure it's nice and neat. Go through all the edges carefully. You don't want your facing to overlap and show up at the front. But even if it does, it doesn't really matter because it's the same fabric, right? Remember, you can use a plain fabric for your facing. You see your top piece, it looks nice, right? So now we have to do the dots. And here I'm measuring out the dots four inches from the side, and then four and a half inches. Well, I went to the top first to measure from the top to where my breast point is, and that was 11, and then I marked that. And so I used that to measure up, I think it was about four and a half inches. And then I marked it together, four inches from this um, from the side. It marked the straight line so that I can, you know, get my breast point. And once you've got in your breast point, you just draw the line. You have to do it on the other side as well. So once you've done that, you want to hold it together on the dart line that you made, and take it to your sewing machine and sew it angling it to the point I used a half inch allowance and now I am trying to prep the um, straps so I'm gonna sew across at the top there and down the sides half inch allowance leaving the bottom open so I'm sewing the top I'm sewing down the sides so now that I've prepped it I'm going to take my knitting pin I left the bottom open I'm gonna take my knitting pin and push it through that end that was sewn and push it all the way through out to the open end and you take it you push it through and once you've pushed it through you're going to use the pointy parts and you know make the edges come out properly and the band's done and then you're going to take your top piece put it inside out and Take your band, whatever side you want, put it in there to fit through the shoulder piece, shoulder part, match it up so it's front sides to front sides, match it up nicely, 
it's all matched up you take the sewing machine and you just sew that down okie dokie you trim off the excess thread pull it out and then you see you have your straps attached to the front piece to the halter top you do the same thing to the next side now we've done both sides we have both straps attached lovely onto the shorts we're gonna measure the dots out for the shorts I'm use measuring on the front piece and that's four inches I'm marking from the edge from the middle line or middle point <laughs> four inches going down then I marked four and a half inches here but I later actually increased it to seven inches so you can as well do yours to seven inches long and you do it for the next the other side and you take the pieces to the sewing machine fold it up do like you did for the top so it with a half inch allowance going all the way down and meeting up at the point then we take the back piece and you measure out the dots for the back piece I used 5 inches from the center line from the crotch line because of the seam allowance for the zipper and so you mark 5 inches there and you do it for the other side as well and then marking 5 inches from the crotch or rise whatever you may call it and then you measure four and a half inches down the back doesn't need to be as long as the front so I've done the dots and now I want to sew the two um, the rise of the butt of the back piece together so but I'm not gonna sew it all the way I'm gonna leave open like eight inches for the zipper or seven and a half inches and then I'm gonna sew the rest so from that seven and a half inch point down yeah so I'm sewing it to that point and then back stitch and you take it out so you have your back piece you have your front piece and you want to match them up together so I'm gonna match them up at the crotch first and you are gonna because you want to make sure that's really like placed properly and you see it's equal and so when you match it up like that you take your pin just put your pin in place so it doesn't move while you're sewing and you take it to your machine and sew it together you just sew it carefully curve it done cut off any excess thread so you have it matched up at the crotch and what you want to do is sew the sides both sides with a one inch seam allowance actually I think I use half inch seam allowance and I did both sides and now I'm taking my tape to measure the front to see that I have the right waist length for the front and I'm measuring the back to see that I have the right one as well so I've tried it on just to see how it fits and as I tried it on I realized the back piece is a bit big so I'm gonna take it at the darts at the waist a bit more but not all the way down just at the waist I want it to be tired at the waist and then I noticed that it's a bit too long I want it to be shorter so I'm gonna cut it off cut some some of it off at the shorts so it'll look like that that's how I want it to look and I can attach the frills to it make more sense so here I'm notching the center of the top piece just so I know where the center is so I can match it up with the center of the shorts so I get my shorts and I look for the center I turn it inside out and then I put I match my um, front piece center to the front piece of the short center and I pin it there and just make sure it's in place and I pin it there as well and I just pin it on both sides so I've pinned it and I'm taking it to my machine to sew to join them together. You just sew it down with a half inch allowance and then you have your front piece attached to your front piece of the shorts or your top piece attached to the front piece. But you can see there's some lettering showing so I'm going to take it in a bit more. So I'm going to make it 
now a 5 eighths of an inch allowance instead of the half inch that I did so that the lettering can I can hide the lettering that we're showing you sew it all down so it's all done and it looks neat now no lettering showing so I want to fold over the waist of the back piece to press it to create a hem you fold it over again inside of that first fold and you press it again just do it nice and slowly and nice and neat and you see you finished folding it you have your hem and then you need to go do it on the other side and sew it down sew both sides down you have it so now you've finished everything you want to bring it out and we're going to put in the zipper so that opening that we left at the bum area at the back piece we're going to put our invisible zipper 8 inch zipper I think it's 10 inch actually and you just um, 8 to 8 inch you put it the right side of the zipper to the right side of the fabric of one side of the fabric and you open I had to open the zipper so I could like properly place it and pin it before sewing it so I open the zipper and you fold over the zipper edge over the fabric like that and then you get your pin and pin it in place so you just want to pin it all the way down with a one inch seam allowance so that when you put your zipper foot the zipper foot is placed right on right at the edge of the teeth of the zipper leaving a one inch seam allowance so I had to move it a bit because it wasn't, it wasn't exactly a one inch seam allowance and you pin it in and it's place and just place it all the way down then you change your zipper foot um, your foot to the zipper foot like I'm doing here and you take your zipper to take your fabric and the zipper to the machine and then you just sew along with a one inch seam allowance I was just changing it to the proper stitch you sew it all the way down nice and neat then you do the same thing on the other side you see we have one side done so we do the same thing on the other side with the right side of the zip facing the right side of the other part of the other back piece you fold it down there first because you always want the top pieces to match exactly so you fold it down there and pin it and then you just adjust it pin it make sure it has a one inch seam allowance like you did on the first side and then you take it to your machine and sew it down now our zipper is all done nice and neat so the shorts kind of done what is left is the frills so you see my frill I cut it and it looks nice it's nice and long you first have to change your stitch to the basting stitch so I'm just zooming in to show you how what the basting stitch looks like I guess your machine might not be computerized but you pretty much want a long stitch the longest stitch you can get you want to pull out the threads the, the, the top thread and the bottom thread so you have long pieces of thread hanging and then you just sew all the way around sew the basting stitch all the way around slowly going around so that you don't like sew out of place then you need to pull it out again so you have a long piece of thread and you cut in the middle and then you know you have a long piece of thread left over for the next line you're going to do two lines and you don't want them to be more than a quarter of an inch apart from each other so the first line was supposed to be a quarter of an inch from the top and then the second line a quarter of an inch from that one so i've changed my stitch back to the regular stitch so i don't forget you take your two top threads you take your two top threads and separate them from the the, the threads beneath from the bobbin threads you have that in place and then you have it on the other side 
because it's a circle they meet up at the same place so you see those threads on the other side as well you're just, just gonna try and get both of them and hold on to them get the bobbin thread out of the way and start pulling on it pulling on it to gather it gently so you don't like strain the fabric too much and cut the thread you pull on it and you just keep doing that round and round and round pulling at some point you're going to pull from the next side so I'm going to switch sides here and start pulling from the other side so I think I've gathered enough I just want to measure to make sure it's 11.25 inches or so I'm just measuring it to make sure because that's the the width of my thigh like one and a half anyways and it looks like it's 11.25 so I just want to tie off the ends of those long threads I've pulled so that they don't like losing lose their place I'm tying it twice I do it for both sets of threads and then you cut it off and you see you have your frills now you're going to attach it to your thigh so you make sure your shorts are inside out so you match the front of the frill to the front of the shorts the front sides or the right sides the right sides of the frill to the right sides of the shorts and you pin it all around and you take it to your machine and you sew it around you sew it around I'm just pinning it all around and then I'm, I'm going to sew it all around. And I've sewn it and now you see when I turn it right sides out that my frill has been attached to my thigh, to my shorts and you do it for the other side so that you can have both frills attached. You make sure everything is neat, cut off any excess thread as usual, and then I saw that you know some of the basting stitch was showing so I just removed that. And that's pretty much the end of the tutorial. This is the final result. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something for, from this video. Um, maybe learn how to make this outfit I'm making, hopefully. If something was not clear, or you have any questions, or you have any specific requests of how to make any outfit, let me know, contact me, or just leave a comment, and I'll, I can do specific tutorials or so alongs for you. So yeah, thank you guys for watching again. If you didn't subscribe, you can do it now, it's not too late. You can share this video as well, I would appreciate it. Thank you for supporting your girl.